Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've not done it already, like the video, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys are watching, but barely any of you guys are subscribers. So if you guys click the subscribe button, it's just a click on the button anyway. That would be absolutely amazing. Listen, we've got a jam pack big week coming up ahead. We've got David Haley versus Jordan Diaz. We've got Lyndon Arthur versus Anthony Young. Huge week ahead. Um, and this video for Motor Video just came out. I was going to do a, a prediction or a little preview for this channel, and I'm I'm going to do that probably later on in the week. But I had to look into this a little bit further. This will help me out, to be fair. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Warning. I knew that this day would come when everyone would be talking about me. Fight fans, welcome back. The lightweight division is about to catch fire as a string of powerful pugilists aim to end the year with a statement. Here is a 2012 U.S. Olympian. I know that Devin Haney is a really, really skilled, elusive fighter, but I'm a dog. On December 4th, under the Las Vegas lights, talent meets tenacity as one man seeks to rise to the next level. A young champion with unshakable belief in his boxing ability. I've always been a slick boxer, always had skills. Fighting to legitimize his contested status on the world scene, taking on a confident Californian, looking to finally add discipline to desire and enhance his status with a second world title. In this latest episode of our Closer Look series, we present Devin Haney. He's a tremendous fighter, unbelievable talent. We are one of the biggest young talents in the sport. Versus Joseph Jojo Diaz. You're ready for the top guys at 135. Absolutely, let's get it on. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. That's the buildup. Everything must have a buildup before it explodes. Across two thirds of his last outing, Devin Haney was one step ahead of classy veteran Jorge Linares. You know, he's looking to win and try and get mm -hmm. the Tiafimo Lopez's yes. and the tanks. But for yourself, after that great fight with Lomachenko. I want to say thank you, Jorge Linares. He's a great fighter. Well, that's gone out the window. <laughs> After what happened last weekend against George Kambosos, that's really gone out the window. Um, there's a lot more riding on this one, to be fair, because you can't slip up. Victory for you will lead you to all those names. And now this time I feel much better than, than the fight with Lomachenko, so... Uh, Lenar has been harassing me for a minute, saying all oh, some crazy stuff, like I was scared or something, like sign the contract, you're scared, you're scared. We'll see Saturday. Popping a powerful jab, maintaining space and distance to perfection, while skillfully weaving away from Linares' combinations, everything was going to plan. But I do like the timing, and I like the punches that Linares is looking for. There was a left hook. Haney's not letting him close that distance. And again, right uppercut for Haney. But when Haney's safety first approach waned for a split second, warning, a flush right hand left his senses jumbled. As Linares smelled blood, a routine night's work suddenly drifted into dangerous territory. Haney grabbed and grappled for survival. Right hand over the top! Caught him again! Caught him again! Double left hook! As fans in attendance and at home anticipated a dramatic twist in the narrative. And how about Haney still standing in the pocket? If he makes it through this round, he wins the fight. Still undefeated and still. Mateo Fimo Lopez has been out there saying, I want Devin Haney next. I am undisputed. I fought for those belts. Devin Haney is not a world champion because they elevated him via email. A, do you believe him? And B, do you want that fight? Of course, I want to make the biggest fights happen. Following his 26th professional victory, Haney was labeled fragile by some. Haney 
God, he's probably the chinniest fighter in the, in, 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 at 35. If not, he's the Amir Khan of 135. Ryan Garcia gets dropped, right? The world praises him. Seems like he wants to. Oh, the tent sends the kid down! I get hit with a good shot, I always stay in the world. <laughs> Others commended his toughness. How it will affect him going forward is anyone's guess. Good job. How is it power compared to Luma? Center of the ring! <laughs> Now you have power, you have power, you have power. Look at this, look at this. Pouch automatically tries Listen. all the... Yo, I don't like that. those kind of questions to be fair. Like, how is, how is that compared to your last opponent? That's like asking, yeah, your current partner. How, how am I right now compared to your exes? It's a bit like... I don't know, man. It's not the best of questions to ask, yeah? Because you're there to beat up your opponent and keep it moving. Everyone poses a different threat, and you know what it is? You just gotta keep it moving. Let's go. Moderate run that saw him record victories over the likes of former unified world champion Yuriokis Gamboa. His skill is widely respected. Big right hand there from Devin Haney. Going downstairs, it goes down. There's, There's another it. one. They say the legs are the first thing to go, but power and experience are the last thing to go. This fight is not over. Haney is still looking for that knockout right now. And still undefeated. Plus unbeaten duo, Zuar Abdulayev and Alfredo Santiago. But already great speed and combination power from Haney. We talked about Floyd Mayweather and being in the gym with Mayweather as he got ready for Conor McGregor. The key to the fight game is period. The key is to take less punishment. You can see a little hint of a shoulder roll there. The less punishment you take, the longer you last in the sport. Because, you know, I was in 21 years. It was the first time the WBC lightweight champion had faced true adversity. This vocal young boxer, who holds Floyd Mayweather aspirations, can afford no such lapses of concentration in his next headline attraction. I want to shut you up or I want to show out. And I want all the smoke. I want anybody. Facing Haney will be a distinguished former amateur who represented the U.S. at the 2012 Olympics. Jojo Diaz has already posted praiseworthy performances during his lower weight campaigns, pushing the excellent Gary Russell Jr. close in a spirited 2018 crack at Russell's WBC featherweight strap. This man, Gary Russell Jr., holds the WBC featherweight championship of the world. And Gary Russell Jr. putting the pressure. That's it. This fight is over. Gary Russell Jr. is the new WBC featherweight champion. If he wants to come in there and, and, and box, we have the ability to be equally as comfortable. Left hand to the body. Left hand upstairs by Russell to counter Lomachenko's body attack. If he wants to come in and be rough and rugged, we can be comfortable and do that as well. Russell at a distance. And Gary Russell Jr., he does have the fastest hands in boxing. And Gary Russell Jr. putting the pressure. I know he's the toughest in the division, but I'm willing to go out there and defeat him and, and bring back the WBC title. But he's trying to still get the timing of Russell. Diaz learned from his night's work and returned stronger. Jojo was better equipped to deal with the pressure when his biggest moment so far arrived in early 2020. The rugged Californian overcame a gruesome cut, battling against the odds to dethrone IBF super featherweight king, Tevin Farmer. I seen someone walking up and it was Tevin Farmer and I was like, what's up? And he was like, what up? And then we just had an altercation. I was like, yo, let's make this fight happen. He wanted to make the fight happen. I don't care where we at, boy. I don't care where we at. I don't care. Take big chance, go to the bottom hard. Only after moves up to 100 where Jojo, uh, Jono Carroll was made seen the first six rounds. Jojo Diaz has been excellent. And the new 
I've been dreaming about this opportunity, man, and this this moment for a long, long time, man. Um, I couldn't use my jab how I wanted to, but he got the job done tonight. Diaz's professionalism was later called into question when he weighed significantly over the 130-pound limit. 133.6 for Diaz. Against Shavkat Rahimov. 129.8. In the first defense of a title, he toiled so hard to achieve. You know, I had a long layoff during training camp, gained a lot of over, a lot of weight. You know, quarantine and during my my girl's pregnancy. No, oh, nice oh. shot there. The best one, perhaps, of the fight by Rakimov. After boxing to a draw. One fourteen, one fourteen. This bout is a majority draw. Wow. Diaz called time on his super featherweight ambitions and entered the lightweight conversation. I moved all past that. I plan on taking the tough challenge with Javier Fortuna. A lot of people have been ducking him. Looking sharp and crisp for long spells of his maiden outing, Diaz outpointed tricky Javier Fortuna. You saw that flurry from JoJo, a little jab there. Stadium right now, Los Angeles, California. Diaz and Fortuna, mm, man. How about Diaz now putting the pressure on Fortuna? Chosa, Jojo Diaz! The 28-year-old golden boy fighter has now laid down the foundations to become a recognized player at 135. Originally preparing for a bout against Ryan Garcia, Diaz now enters an equally enticing matchup against a WBC title holder seeking to make the fourth defense of his contentious crown. I love this. I love this. I've got one just like this. The size dimensions are intriguing. Naturally smaller, Diaz will concede two inches in height to a man six years his junior. Haney's monster seven-inch reach advantage could also be a key factor and he will aim to slam a ramrod jab into his opponent's face at every opportunity. Neither are massive finishers. Jojo has boxed around 100 rounds more, but prior to the Gary Russell fight, some of his distance encountered lacked the fizz and energy expected from a verified contender. Having cataloged his weight-making woes, some outspoken observers believe Diaz's disasters are self-inflicted and highlight out-of-the-ring misdemeanors as indicative of the Southpaw's questionable discipline. Outside of the ropes, two passionate fathers will seek to steer their sons to victory. The quick-fire profanities of self-trained coach Joseph Diaz Sr. So you learned how to be a boxing trainer off YouTube videos? Well, crazy. That's how it started, and then, you know, just from the, <laughs> being around the environment, being around trainers, watching. Pitting his wits against Bill Haney, will no doubt provide an interesting side narrative. There's been a lot of proud moments, for sure. Him and Floyd, when they, when the day they sparred, Floyd couldn't touch him either. <laughs> Having previously found a way to pick holes in his opponent's defenses, it will be interesting to see if JoJo can find a route to Haney's chin and ask similar questions. Fresher than the battle-scarred Linares, if Diaz gets Devin on the hook, he may not be as quick to let the dream wiggle away. If Haney's vulnerabilities are ingrained, then Diaz will aim to discover and exploit. Jojo handled the slicker Tevin Farmer well on the inside and narrowed the gap against Gary Russell with some persistent grafting down the stretch. Haney's hand speed and timing are similar to Farmer and Russell. Go after Luke Campbell, and Campbell put it himself nicely, box 12. Boxing from range should not pose too many problems, but as the clock ticks by, he will inevitably get drawn into the trenches. How will the champion respond? Haney is slick, man. I'm sorry, but he is slick. Having already lost his coveted zero, Diaz has no fear placing his neck on the line. If he can pressure Haney and keep on motoring forward, despite what is being thrown his way, then the dog and Diaz could lead to some tense exchanges. Jojo Diaz has made it clear that he wants the sternest tests available until retirement. A fighter with a nothing-to-lose mindset brings danger. Posting a career-best performance could leave Haney and promoter Eddie Hearn scrambling for their rematch clause. 
The best boxers grow and mature into finer specimens when they battle through hardship. Getting rocked in a contest will be one of the most valuable ring experiences Haney has received. Haney enters as the fight favorite in his adopted Las Vegas stronghold, competing during a hectic three-week stretch of lightweight violence that sees red-hot rivals Teofimo Lopez, Gervonta Davis, and Vasil Lomachenko all in action. The future of the division will be formed before our very eyes. The chance to become a two-division champion is a huge incentive for Jojo Diaz as he once again seeks to destroy the odds. If Devin Haney is to keep pace with his peers if he's a champ, I'm a champ, right? I'm the champ. and stake his claim as a premier attraction, then losing his unbeaten record on December 4th is an outcome that simply cannot be entertained. Listen, can't wait for this fight, yeah. David Haney, I'm gonna break this down later on in the week, but subscribe to the channel to hear that breakdown. Subscribe to the channel also to hear the lead and art of us and the breakdown as well. But without further ado, thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know who you guys think is gonna win. Peace, love, and prosperity. I will see you guys in a bit. Peace.